The MG-42, the machine in Gewehr 42. This mass-produced version of the MG-34 had a rate of fire so dazzling that it sounded like one long continuous burst when fired. Due to the rapid rate of fire, the barrel of the machine and Gewehr would quickly overheat. A spare barrel was part of the standard equipment package and could be replaced in less than two minutes. An asbestos pad for protection against the heat was also standard equipment. With an increased rate of fire to about 1,500 rounds per minute, the MG-42 was devastating for both practical and psychological reasons. The one weapon the Germans had that was really feared in World War II was the MG-42 machine gun. One of the main differences between it and the earlier MG-34 it replaced was its rate of fire. It was so high a rate of fire that you couldn't hear individual shots. In other words, on the MG-34 you could hear da 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 With the MG-42 it was zzzz, just like that. You couldn't even hear individual rounds. And this is so intimidating that people would stop and go to ground as soon as they heard it, even if it wasn't aiming at them. That frightful sound would echo through the end of the war. The United States Army even made a special training film to deal with the psychological impact of the weapon, to lessen the fear of the green recruit who would face the amazing firepower of the dreaded MG-42. Listen to that. Fast. That thing sprays a lot of lead. And you're scared because the German gun fires faster than anything you've run into before. So much faster than the slow, steady bark of American machine guns you heard all through training. When you know the drawbacks of these enemy weapons and realize that their bark is worse than their bite, you aren't afraid of some unknown thing. In truth, its bite was very bad. And Germany was able to produce MG-42s at an alarming rate. One way to gauge how effective the German tactics, weapons, and doctrine were is the casualty rates, which you can just look at statistics. In other words, how many casualties were inflicted on each side and what they admit they lost. On the Eastern Front against the Russians, the Germans lost one man to every 15 the Russians lost. We learned about their casualties and uh, inflicted by how many uh, machine gun positions and so on. And uh, we were not aware that when before the invasion of Russia started, that 14 and a half million Russian soldiers were assembled on the west front of Russia facing 1 and 1.5 million German troops. Despite the odds, the early German victories were overwhelming and the Russian losses were staggering. At the core of the fighting was the all-important machine gun squad. The secret of their tactics was fluidity of movement. Hit and run and never allow anyone to get behind the squad. The machine gunner definitely decimated uh, enormously the infantry, the attacking infantry. The Russian infantry usually followed right the tanks. And uh, um, if you were sitting there with your machine gun and you were able to pick out the uh, accompanying infantry very easily, because in Russia you hardly have any trees uh, unless you are in a forest area of the West. 